All right, we're going to do episode two of how to build a community challenge zoo. We left off where we had three hab three habitats, three exhibits, and one habitat, and my and 13K. <coughs> if my camera angle looks different, it's because I got a new camera. So I have this space set up, so we'll go ahead and just go ahead and add another... Yeah, go away. I actually don't like that. Ah. And we'll go ahead and just pick you up and put you over here. Maybe. There we go. Alright, let me hit play. Still need a workshop and a research center, which I don't need. So I'll add that at another time. Where we left off, I have some baby insects in reserve. I have 10 of them, which selling them would give me $2,000, 2000k. I was going to add, oh, I know what I wanted to do, let's see, I want to add the, do you need to do these guys? As you can see, I have plenty. Let's see, we'll add one male, one female, two females. I like to do one male and... I have plenty of room. <coughs> Excuse me. Does look on his face. Barely enough, almost too much coverage. All right, we're good. How are we doing on shelter? Uh, I need to add another shelter. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this one and just turn it around. Oh, where's the back of it? There it is. Go. Duplicating is a great way of doing it so you don't have to search for things again. Like I stated in the previous one, my years of having horses makes me want to cover every inch of a shelter. Like I would for stall bedding. So we place two. We got a thousand dollars for that. We'll get a thousand when we breed. This one I can almost never get. Drives me crazy. Ooh, I can finally increase my guest tickets. Now you don't want to do this too fast. You want to go up two, three dollars at a time. Not just keep them both even. If you go up too fast, I'll say it's overpriced. But being able to raise the price gets more money coming in. We got more babies. I need babies. I need more babies. No babies. Hello, get 20 credits. 
haven't been doing that actually because I'm at 51,000 credits, so I don't really need credits. Okay, let's see here. Let's start decorating. <coughs> Excuse me, this section. All the money build. We'll just do biome and we'll just go straight desert. We'll have all desert plants. Let's line it with aloe vera plants. That's a good little lining. I like to line the outline of my pass with either plants or rocks. Sometimes fencing. Just depends. On the surface. This gives it that pretty edge and just like it. You get that pretty great scenery. Race, great booting from bo booting. Boost from your guest. I can talk, I promise. Desert plant there. Trying to be a little sparse because this is these are desert plants. There's not going to be a lot of them, and they wouldn't be close together necessarily because water would be scarce, so they'd be fighting over resources. So they'd want to be further apart from each other and naturally. I mean, that's a good. That's good. Got good enrichment, okay. The more animals you add, the more enrichment you need. I'm up to 14k. I'm 
gonna start building the next one. Bit of a safe space saver. You can build off other habitats. Check my list. Let's see what we can go for next. So I've got the game's box. So I'll put a little check there. And we have the horned ox. ox. We could do the bongo, the springbrook, and the gonzel can all go together. I think. I think they can all go together. Let's double check. Oopsie. Wrong thing. So Bongo is Africa, yep. And then the Springbok is also Africa, and the Thompson Zell, also Africa. Okay, so we can put those three together. So I had some babies born! We had babies. We had the babies. That'll be you. Oh. So, so I'm up to 13 animals and almost $3,000. So we literally could do right here. Triple habitat. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to put in multiple houses. Most of days I've been able to put like a habitat gate here so they could enter both habitats, but can't do that on this one. Barrier. I need to add a gate. Genius. Can turn it that way. I don't like it that way, so that they can actually. I can add in a window, so they can actually see in the habitat.
Now, because I'm adding gazelles they, and springbok, they are notoriously shy. So, therefore, I'm going to put in one way glass. And before I add anything, I'm putting up be quiet signs. Like, I'm putting these suckers, like, even before they get near the fence. That would help. I was in the right section. I'm literally putting them here. As they come in. I'm gonna put them here. And here. And here. And seriously, I want them to front everywhere. Done this in a while, but I might even do this. Okay, I'll fix you in a minute. There's no power. All right, let's fix up. <clears throat> Will you fit right there? Do I need to? Oh, of course, you're not gonna fit right there. Tension's got to keep scrolling down. I don't have to do that on the other. And just for kicks, slide one right here. Tell me these guys are shy. Alright. Now. You can add. Right past the bongo. Bongo. Springbok and Thompson goes off. So we'll put two of these. Put one of these back here so they can eat in peace. Add one of these back here. Put another one up here. Add the toys. Toys back here. Oops. 
see, I bet I need to add a water thing if I'm gonna add water. Yeah, we'll skip the water. Alright, I think we're ready. the surface and I'm moving forward again. See how this looks. Plenty of springs. We're gonna fix the terrain. I need more soil. Okay, there we go. Definitely need trees. Desert. Get too carried away. Let's add the next set. I guess so. I'm gonna spring block. Hello. Oh, I have one spring block. Okay. So we'll send those two. I breed like crazy, so it doesn't, <clears throat> doesn't matter. I breed like crazy. Wow. Their biomes are different, but you can see all the almost all the trees are wrong, but it doesn't seem to affect them. <coughs> but let's adjust this a little bit. I'm not compromising why a little walk in. Let's add a little rock in. Yeah, it's a little bit. Then we have to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. You do? Yeah, I'm going to do it. 
And even that out. Now, let's add in Gazelle. Trains it every now and again. We'll start with January. We don't have any seating. This one will make the spring box. Actually, we'll put this over here. And we'll make this one. Oh, the game's What the heck? Oh, the heck? That one the Thompson as well. And this one can be yeah, there we go. That one's the bongo. There we go, now we got all three. There we go. Thompson goes off. There we go. Shano says Sheila Adolfo. Got another prize, so we adopted two, so we get another thousand K. And, ooh, I can raise my guest prices again, so we'll go up to eight bucks. Actually, I'll go up to ten since I added two more animals. How about that? And you can see how I'm steadily increasing, so it doesn't take a whole lot. You just keep it simple, and it really doesn't take that much. Shrunk it down. Interesting tip I've learned is that if you want to use like null barriers, but you need a way to block your animals, using elephant grass, even if you sink it almost into the ground, supposedly makes is enough to block them from escaping. I've tried it once and it actually worked. I did it with the lion habitat. Which I may have put on the workshop. I'm not positive. Designed a lion habitat with a huge shelter and a huge backstage area. Not a huge backstage area, but... Nice size backstage area for the staff, and they even had to enter through the backstage area to get to the lions. Lions are also a really good source of um, 
conservation credits because they read like crazy. Just another little tip. But they're also expensive to feed, so make sure you have plenty of money before you try to put lions in or any, really any carnivores. Sinking trees in too makes a nice distance too. Difference. Goodness gracious, I swear I can talk. See, look at that. In this place, they take the tops of the trees and turn them into bushes. Trees normally gets on my nerves because they're so tall and then when you're trying to see around them, they're just in your way. <clears throat> Put <it> there. <coughs> I got some animal statues. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's not gonna work. What the heck? <laughs> Glad I zoomed in. Get you on the ground, there, dude. You guys are not reindeer. You cannot fly. Oh, kind of a nice, interesting way to fill that space, though. Up to 24. Let's see, we have any more babies. Oh, yep, we got babies. We apparently need to replace them. Let's go. I need a male. Spider, shoot up the right one. Gonna send the mail back in. Get it carried away. Let's 
See, at this point, I don't even need to sell these babies. I'm making enough money on my own. But if I were, I'm up to 21, and that's almost 5,000k. So, let's see how much money I've made. That'd bring me up to 30k. I'm gonna bring in a restaurant, but I'm gonna use one of mine. One that I built. <clears throat> Go to my blueprints. There's my restaurant. Where are ya? There you go. It's on the workshop if you're interested. Clear top, rooftop, update. If you're interested, it's there. Double check. Negative impact. I I could do it now. This way looks better. And I'm into the tree, so that's not gonna work. This restaurant, like I said, it's one that I made, and it's three stories, and it has 20 tables total. And so far it's not telling me it's... Oh, there it goes. I always get that with this. I get this restaurant is ineffective. For some reason, it's not fully merged. Don't ask me why. This is the only way I know how to fix it is to just shift it backwards. But that also means I don't have a vendor. Vendor. Now I'm down to 12,000. Because I bought the restaurant. But. Let me fix something. Dude. Fix my condiments. I like to turn everything green. Under condiments, under every section. It brings, it brings up guest happiness. Synchronized to cost to all restaurants, so when you add more restaurants, it automatically fixes it. But look at that line. People are already lined up for the restaurant. And there you go. Boom. That should help hunger and thirst. I'm already going up. I mean, that's pretty crowded right there. Everybody's heading for the restaurant. I mean, I guess I could shift this and add another counter right here. What? Well, go, keeper. Clean it. Was it right there? 
This game does. Ooh, what's that ice cream? Got an ice cream stand. There we go. We need ice cream. Whoopsie. I got so excited I got carried away. Pop the floating balloon. Pop. Maybe. Can't get it. Pop. And then we'll add... Water counter. There we go. So far, my animals aren't getting stressed, so that's good. Got a five star rating, that's two thousand dollars. Now I'm up to fourteen thousand. So my hunger is now green, my thirst is still orange. It's, everything's green. Let's see. It's like my Gims box are going crazy. <clears throat> Go ahead and release a couple. Maybe. We can. No. Okay. We can't release them because they're all pregnant. 400 now. I'm up to 500. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Food quality is better if you can get it up. Okay, how did the baby get born yet? You're still pregnant. What the heck? How did that happen? That's interesting. Conservation is now up to 1.1. That just leaves no crime, which I cannot get that one ever. Those stupid pickpocketers get me every time. So if I go into crime, see? I have another man my job? What the heck? It's a security sign. What the heck? It's one. Now who did that? Who did that? That's just rude. That is just rude. Time for another security camera, I'm guessing. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... Trying to get better about adding the security cameras. So I'm up to 20k. species already. Let's probably hire some more zookeepers. Yeah, a couple more zookeepers. 
just to keep up with these animals poop a lot. Get a couple more mechanics. Let me get a couple more educators. Do a couple vets. Again, you want to be careful. A couple security guards. And we'll do a couple caretakers since I need more trash. I have more trash cans. Again, you want to be careful. Don't overdo it. That might have been too much. But there is a recently where I went overboard on the staff and I shouldn't have had enough fire them. Because <laughs> it was just too much. So, spent 20000 on purchases. My staff wages are now 6000 Animal food is now 1100 Habitat repair has become 185. Learning costs for faculty, facil faculty facilities. I cannot talk facilities. It's almost a thousand. Scenery costs still 100. Taxes. So I'm at negative 3,000 cash flow and shrinking. But my total profit's still 17k. So we're doing good. Doing something right. Alright, let's see what the guests are saying. The zoo's pretty small. Tickets good. Counter's busy. Restaurant's busy. You need the loo. Guard's chasing somebody. Overall, not bad. Patient needs to go up again. So we're gonna put. Conversation, conversation, conservation board right there. The conversation board, you can talk to it. Goodness gracious. Pollution video. Human activities from pollution to overpopulation are driving up the Earth's temperature and fundamentally changing the world around us. The main cause of the phenomenon is the green. I know I'm not talking, I'm thinking. What have I got? What have I got? The more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the more heat they have, strengthening the greenhouse effect and increasing the Earth's temperature. Human activities, like the burning of fossil fuels, have increased the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere by more than a third since the Industrial Revolution. Two global warming, once again. While Earth's climate has fluctuated in the <coughs> See, now I'm up to 25k. We are doing good. Alright, let's extend this path. in this one side but something over here I guess to come this side of the zoo let's counterbalance it let's move some trees That one. Z 
zebras, okapi, nala. They can actually go in with the. I don't want to overwhelm them, that habitat. I might put the this together with the Nala's. These two can go together. Not the game's buck buck. Got the bongo. The bison can go in with the pronghorn antelope. I like putting those two together, even though that's not part of the challenge. I don't think the bison are part of the challenge. That's when I should have walk up. Whoops. Whoop it do. Okay, we'll use this one again just because it's the cheapest. direction. Maybe go this way. Two. Two this way. Get over here. I should have put that closer. Oh well. <coughs> now we're gonna put a stable in here from the workshop just because that just suits more with the. Bison. Ouch. Boop -de -doo. Overlapping the fence. Let's rotate it a little. Perfect. And what is this? Okay, I know we're without power. Give me a minute. Give me a moment. And this one, actually, I'm gonna add a little water. Because the bison and the where in my water. So we need to add not only this. Actually, you know what? We'll do this. Just because we need something bigger. And then we need water treatment.
Да. Just let my water go. doesn't work. the water. I have a place to swim. Yes, you can. People are killing me. Longhorn envelope. I need a food tray. Mud pit. That's what I put down. A mini bully, bowling pin set up. It's going to duplicate this. Okay, 
let's play with the water. Make it a little more transparent. Add a bunch of bubbles. Add some mist to it. Nah. What color shall we use? Oh, blue. I found you can change the color of the mist too. That's pretty cool that you can do that. Mist color. See that? Look at that. You can make it. Seriously, you can make it black. You can make it match the water. You can make it yellow. This is cool. Oh, don't do this to me now. Dad gum it. Uh, ow, intermission. Alright, I'm going to stop recording and pick up with another episode.